What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, Blufus's brother. Him and his wife is into it, Shay. Y'all know the last time him and his wife was into it, it got a little ugly, literally. Um, he basically was lying on his wife. Y'all remember? And he told her, ah, a lot of them, let them not like you, and all this other stuff. So honestly, anything he says in this video, I don't believe him. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> I just got to put that out there. I don't believe him. But um, <clears throat> we'll see. It might be something to it for real. Let's get into it. It was for sure my baby mama, bro. Or, you know what I'm saying? I, it's, it's like she, I don't know what's going on with her. She uh, following me. I think that she having people following me. Um, I think that, and I think that the people she having following me is trying to do something bad to me. As soon as I, you know, they probably not trying to do it while I got the baby. But I really be feeling like that. It might be just be a fear in the back of my mind. But you know how divorces go and what people be saying, just that the the energy she giving me, I, I'm spook and I don't spook easy. You feel me? So <laughs> if anything happened to me, it was that crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. Women always, I mean, men always scared of a woman when she decides to do stuff like this. They be scared as hell, boy. <laughs> I don't want to talk bad about it, but like I, said, I just wanted to put that out there because I know somebody has been following me for the last two days, bro. And it'd be like, I, normally I wouldn't even trip, but it'd be like, bro, how, how I'm going to beef with the mother of my child? You know what I'm saying? On some shit like this. Because I really believe somebody was following me, bro. Two days in a row, it's been the same dude, black dude, late 30s, early 40s. Got a little gray beard. Got a little motorcycle. He from Bakersfield. I know because he had a little Bakersfield patch on his little motorcycle thing. And the nigga don't come. And he like, nope, I'm not exaggerating, bro. I'm not exaggerating. It could be an unconnected incident. He could be following me for a road rage. But just so happened since I got into a big mama, this same black dude has been following me. He didn't see me. He didn't. I just seen him in two different cities. And when I seen him the first time, he went like this and pointed like just with his two different cities. It's crazy. His fingers like that and drove off trying to like spook me. I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't think nothing of it. But then when I see him again at Best Buy, and like two cities over, I jump out the car like, bro, are you following me? Like, <laughs> What's up with you, gang? Like, what you on? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what is you on? Like, you a private investigator or something? Like, what is you, you know? Like, why you following me or whatever? So I'm just like, I don't know. I'm tripping. Like, I First of all, you better check the car for them air tags. It's number one. Um, I get to change my phone number, cut off the locations on everything. Because if you can't see him trailing in the car or the motorcycle, then how you didn't know he was following you? Could all be in my head, but I'm just tripping. You know? So we're going to see how it play out. You know, I hope I'm going to pray, stay prayed up. You know, I'll stay safe. But, you know, if she playing like that and it ain't, you know what I'm saying? Because that ain't even cool. You know, I understand you don't like me. She might have some money. I think she got some money. I know she was staying with her mama for like a year and she made $94,000 and she wasn't paying no rent. So she got some money. Like, bro, I don't want your money. But if she do got a large chunk of money and she don't want to split it, I'd imagine she probably not going to think I don't really want the money. But it's like, bro, don't nobody want your punk ass money, bro. Like, you know? I think she just being paranoid, but her paranoia is scaring me because, like I said, I know I know she following. I know she tracking me. She done popped up a couple places I done been where I know you can't know where I'm at. And then the nigga is following me, too. So I'm thinking she's sharing a tracker because this nigga done been following me for two different days Man. in two different cities, my nigga. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it's really that, like, you know, I want it to be cool, but, like, come on now, bro. You can't because don't nobody want your money, man. You got to chill. I think she's just paranoid and it's sad that I, I really feel like this. Like, I'm not making this Why does it have to do <clears throat> with the money? And I'm not going to lie. Because somebody in the comments said, I could tell he lying is actually sick. I don't believe him either. But it's like he's saying it in Carlissa's house. I feel like Carlissa would have said it was a lie. Unless Carlissa don't know. But like... I don't know if he's being honest or not, y'all. He be lying. He be lying, lying, too. I don't know if I want to believe him. Shut up. I really 100% really feel like this, bro. I feel like she might have some money. She was supposed to be getting a house. And I think she don't want... I think she think that when we first... That I'm going to try to take half of it. Or I'm like, bro, I don't want none of your... I'm a grown-ass man. Like, I Nah, her thinking that and you actually doing that is a thing because that's how he is with money. He's very entitled when it comes to money. He was just like that with Carlissa. That's why they fell out. 
And then I think that she got a settlement or I think that she got some. You know she got some money with your line ass. I don't want to take none of your shit. But I just think that, like, because we into it and we not seeing eye to eye. I think that's just why she feeling like that. Like, nah, you're going to take my money. She hasn't even told me about it. I'm just speculating because we'll get into it. And she'd be lying. like, I got $30,000. I got $30,000 saved up. I got a whole nother house. And da, 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 da. He's lying. And he I'm not thinking she got what she got. It. until I just start thinking about it. I'm like, damn, you know what? She was staying with her mama, not paying no bills. And I saw her W-2. It said 94. And that's just the money on the books. I know she got a whole other job that she get paid for. That she not. W-2s, which means you, you, you. You count on her money. That's another thing men do that I hate. They count other people's money. Putting on her W-2s. So, you know what I'm saying? She might have saved up, like, whatever amount of money. And it's like, bro, I, don't, I think her mama telling her, too, because her mama know about the money. Her mama don't like me at all. You know what I'm saying? Her mama don't like that she was with a black dude. Her mama never liked that she was with a black dude. She bought me hot sauce for Christmas. You feel me? Like, it, it's a real f***ed up story, bro. In September, we had a situation where I think that they, they basically was trying to kill me, bro. Like... Something happened. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this only because it's just the only thing that makes sense, bro. A nigga do some shit right in front of me to where I should have beat the shit out of him in real life. To the point where, like, only reason I didn't is because I was so... he. They, I think they just f***ed up the play. But he did it, and I was just, like, blown off. Like, what the f***? Like, my mind really froze. I, I, when, I told my, when I tell the story, I say God put me in a state of confusion and really saved me, bro. Because I really was just blown off. Like, this nigga really just do what I think he just did right in front of me? So... Fast forward, I'm thinking, dude, is a, you know what I'm saying? The, the, her mom's boyfriend's husband is Dwayne Vickers or whatever this name is. Um, he her, does some shit basically right in front of me. Her mom's boyfriend's husband. That nigga be lying. Bro. And I'm blown the fuck away. Like, what the fuck is this? So I'm debating. I'm thinking about the shit for months later on because I'm replaying it in my head. Like, I'm trying to protect my baby. Like, is this nigga is he weird? What's going on? But, um, then how it all happened, like what I surmised, and this is just my, me surmising, and it might not be true. Surmising. I'm just protecting myself at this point. You feel me? But I really feel like they did that because they wanted me to hit him, and then they was going to jump out because the mom kept going in the kitchen. Either she probably had a knife in the kitchen or she probably had her gun in the kitchen. My baby mama got a gun registered in her name. Um, so she probably either had the gun in the kitchen. She probably was going to come outside say she just... These men are always scared of their baby mama guns. Boy. Saw me beating up oh boy and that they me bro that's what i think i could be being paranoid like i said but to see him do what he did right in front of my face bro it's like you wanted me to hit you like you dead you definitely wanted me to hit you bro and if you wanted me to hit you it's two old people so it's like i doubt she was waiting in the kitchen with a knife because i doubt she thought if i'm if if they plan to do something in front of me to some stuff with my kid in front of me and i'm gonna be irately beating him up i doubt she thought she was gonna stop me with a knife you know what I'm saying? So I really believe she was waiting in the kitchen with a gun. I believe that they all conspired to set that whole day up because I wasn't supposed to be there. They lured me to that day. The whole day was weird as f So when I'm thinking that she might have did this, it's not out of nowhere, bro. Like I said, I watched this. We got a whole police report on this shit and everything. She filed, and then she trying to lie and say her and her mama into it, but I'm catching her and her mama talking, and that's what made me think they was all in on it because they act, she acted like she was into it with her mom. They might even have a police report on it, but that don't mean the story that he's telling is the exact story. Because her mom lied for the dude, said he didn't do it, and she wasn't even really in the room. She was in the kitchen, supposedly holding a, 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 you know, ready to do her business. You know? So it's like, when I'm, when I'm seeing all this, and I'm, I'm knowing our relationship is deteriorating, and I know because of the past, but I never would have thought it was this much. You know what I'm saying? To the point where, like I said, he did what he did right in front of my face, bro. And the only reason I said I didn't get on him, like I said, is because God put a state of confusion on me. Because I'm like, bro, I'm like, what the f*** is going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really tripping out. And when it boiled down, I'm like, bro, he ain't nobody finna do no shit like that to they right in front of their face unless you want me to, to do something to you, bro. Like, I really think that they wanted me to do something. So, ergo, now, I told them months later, like, hey, bro, I think that that shit that y'all pulled was to get me to do something to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I think, or for, it was to get me to hit him so y'all could do something to me. So now I think they scared because I didn't figure out the play. And now that's why I think she, that she's trying to have somebody do something to me. Because no matter what, I know for a fact I saw him do what he did. It's not even a debate. He did what he did right in front of my face. My tripping... Gang shell. He sounds manic. It's just like, why would you do it in front of my face? Like, I ain't saying it can't be true, but him being the representation of the story is manic. Like right then and there... No, ask him. Because he'll admit it. He's a grown man. 
Don't Trey let your mom wife and her I family on blast for trying to justify his daughter being touched and brother. What did he say? What did he say? He said that he was tickling her feet and that she was falling off and that he grabbed her. She, he's lying. He's lying. And I told him, hey, we don't play with that area. Did I not tell him that? He just said that he heard the comments that you made to him. So what? She wasn't falling off the... You know what I'm saying? Because at the time, my daughter's mm. staying over there. So I'm like, you, you did it because you wanted me to hit you, bro. And it was right around the time me and my mom started getting into it. So I think they just... I swear, every time that nigga do some content... Content. Every time that nigga do something like this, it's always like to this type of magnitude that's kind of like... I'll be ready to cut the video off. Like, oh my God. It felt like it was the perfect opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Clearly something happened. Um, I still don't know if that's exactly what happened, but yeah. And it's like, no matter how much you dislike a person, because I really feel like they dislike me. I know they dislike me. But to set up a place to take my life, to take my whole existence, is crazy, bro. So, like I said, if she doesn't have a motive, then I'm, the only reason I'm like, once I, once we go to divorce court and I find out if she has money or if she doesn't or if she has a house. I know for a fact she had 94000 and she saved most of it. So, wherever that. She made 94000 on her W-2, y'all, which means she made 94000 for the year. That does not mean that she got 94000 saved up, especially if she was taking care of your grown ass. Like, why are you all in her pockets? That money went over this year. I th I'm thinking that's the money that she worried about, which like, bro, I don't want your money. I know your mama probably been in your ear the whole time. Like, no, his black ass wants the money. No. His, his, you know what I'm he, saying? He They're not going to. been over there acting like he want that money. To be... I'm so untitled around tax time. It's disgusting. Like, you, get, you can I get half for that or whatever? Like, taxes is not, they don't give you money because you went half on the baby. They give you money because you financially took care of the baby. And if you ain't financially taking care of it, sit your ass down. I'm like, bro, I don't want your Entitled money. Entitled ass like, man. In real life, I don't want your money. He lying about not wanting that money. He's you lying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm more so hurt. Even if I would do some shit like that <clears> to a <throat> right in front of another man, just like it's the only logical <sighs> thing is like you wanted me to hit you, bro. You wanted me to hit you and beat you up so bad to where you could come in out the kitchen and do me. And that makes me cry low key, bro. Because it, it's like, damn, y'all dislike me that much to where it, it, it could never be that deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's really just racism, bro. It really, her mom never wanted to see me with a black dude. I feel like she kind of stuck in the middle. And since I, I was cheating, she just decided to go with her mom. Like her mom is against me. You know what I'm saying? Her mom is like, no, you should. Because her mom don't want her to be with a black dude. Period. She's admitted to me like, hey, bro, my parents or my whole family used they say she said used to be racist. I don't know how you stop being racist, but I guess, you know, what I'm saying like he my daughter have black, you know, so it's like, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, man. So I've been seeing the same dude. I know she's tracking me. Um, I know he's tracking me because he followed me around for multiple cities and shit. So at this point, I don't really know what the fuck to do. You know, like, you know, like I'm we going to court, we going through our little divorce. But I really am genuinely concerned at this point, you know, from what I saw. Just really, I'm only basing it. If you're willing to go that far to do what he did right in front of me, then y'all too deep in to low-key. And that's what's making me concerned because I feel like they like, damn, we didn't already ran the play. We kind of can't, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, like, I peeped the play. Stop. I'm just trying to be a dad in my daughter's life. I don't care about y'all. I don't care what y'all do. Y'all obviously do weird-ass shit. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, <clears throat> it's really the only thing we have in between us is, is just my daughter, bro. I'm not trying to force a relationship with my baby mama. Of course, I would love to work my family out, bro. I mean, of course, it's my family. But if, if we're in an unhealthy space, then okay, bro. We It's, it's a relationship. Relationships end. Let it go. Let it go. Not, it's not the end of the world. I'm pretty sure everybody has been in more than one relationship. You know? But like, really, family niggas, we just need to chill out. Like, for real. Because it's, it's at a point, and y'all put it at this point, being paranoid. Because if anything, bro, I want my daughter to have her mother. Like, I, I love, like, nobody's going to love her like her mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> why would I want to do this by myself? Of course, I'm going to be trying to, you know, I, I'm going to need some help. It takes two people to make a baby for a reason. So I'm not never trying to keep the baby away. But it's like, you know, I don't want your money. I don't want to keep the baby. So we don't have no reason to beef. If you don't want to be with me, we don't have a reason to beef. Like, if you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I'm not talking you i'm not infatuated with you like i'm wrong i do care about you i do really love you my nah. you know we're a family you're my wife 
Nah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm, it's not, the, it's not, you know what I'm saying? I'm perfectly fine with if you want a co-parent and, you know, I meet you in the middle. We do pickups. Whatever he be telling her online, I mean, uh, to her face is not what he tell her. Like, not what he telling us. And drop off and life goes on. He lying. Like, like where it's at now, even if, even if what I am tripping, like I said, when we go through the divorce and all the paperwork is signed, I just feel better. I just feel like right now because I feel like she hiding something. If it's not the money in her house, something in her behavior, like I said, that date with, with uh, Dwayne Vickers, um, that that incident that we have a police report on, like that, that, that's, like I said, I've seen it. So that's just only thing making me feel like she might go to an extreme case to, to, to get rid of me. Because I'm like, bro, there's no way that you slipped up, even if you was on some weird shit, did that right in front of my face, bro. It just, the only thing that logically makes sense is that you wanted me to hit you, bro. And that's why she kept going in and out of the kitchen. Because the whole day she just kept running in the kitchen, bro. And it made me sad to her, imagine her, if that's the case, on the other side of that kitchen door holding a gun, waiting for her to hit screaming and to come in her in my- You don't be saying that when you be putting your hands on her, because all of them be whooping they, these women asses. I know he done whooped her ass, the way he talked to her. My life. It had no sympathy for Victimized my life. Victimized that. But then they say nigga. black people is is the lesser race or all that other stuff, right? And you ready to kill me because you don't like the fact that your daughter's dating a black dude, bro? That shit is crazy. It's really, really sad. You know what I'm saying? It's really, really sad because you have no reason to really dislike me this much, bro. I'm sure <laughs> everything we going through in our relationship ain't nothing you ain't went through in your relationship or somebody around you in your relationship and you didn't try to kill none of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I, I pray every day and we going to figure this out because that's why I figured it out because I pray every day, bro. Uh -huh. God is very close to me because he knows my heart, bro. Everybody on the internet knows Dre is a cool dude. As long as you don't bother me, I won't bother you. And that's why I really keep be kept safe because I'm cool. God, you know, if you got a good heart, God going to try to look out for you. And that's what he's doing. I'm trying to tell you to stop because God going to keep me safe, bro. I'm trying to tell you right now, bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm, I'm definitely one of God's, you feel me? Like, I... You know, so I don't want God to keep me safe. You know what I'm saying? And then, because if, especially if you don't stop. But if anything happens to me, y'all know, you know what I'm saying? How much this line? You know who to go, you know? You know whose accounts to look, who might have paid somebody. The mama might have paid them. Dwayne Vickers might have paid them. This is a straight gas light. Could be somebody else. I mean, Dre act like he ain't used to be in the streets. He ain't go to prison for God. You know what I'm could be anybody. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, man. That's I don't crazy. Know. We, gotta, we have, as far as I know, we have an open police investigation against Dwayne Vickers for doing some shit. But um, I really just think it was he tried to hit me. I mean, he wanted me to hit him. I, I don't know if he's a or not because it don't really make sense. You see? But yeah, we have an open case against Dwayne Vickers. You see Vickers what I'm saying? Because you're lying. He's lying. If he touched them in a bad, if he touched the in a bad way, Obviously, he would be one. So if he didn't, why are you calling him one? Why are you saying now you don't know if he is or not? Because you're lying. Ugh. I feel like shit. And uh, we tried shame. to catch him in a phone call. You know what I'm saying? But the phone call shit didn't work. So <laughs> I don't know, man. He shall. We're going to see how it go. But y'all pray for me, man. Please pray for me. This boy shall. I mean, you know, I can't say he ain't fully telling the truth. Yeah, just the problem is when you're a liar, nobody really believes you. You know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know what y'all think about all this down in the comment section below. Um, he's such a liar. I don't believe nothing he said. So that's all I got. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.